Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to configure Azure SAMO certificate with Palo Alto Global Protect uh, authentication. So this is where I have my basic topology here. I'm going to configure the certificate on that Palo Alto and this will be my PC for testing. So the first thing we need to do, we need to go to your Azure account and go to uh, Active Directory. Then you go Enterprise Application, click on New Application, and choose Palo Alto Network Global Protect. Once you have this in here, you can choose a name if you want to call it something else. And click create. Once this one created, you have to go and uh, click on the single sign on. Samo. Edit. And here you need to. Uh, at the identifier, the reply URL, and the single uh, sign-on URL. So the way it should like, you can copy this on here, as you can see. <clears throat> and here, in this bit here, you have to add your FQDN, or in my situation, uh, will be your IP address which will be this one, 10.10.10.1 10, 10 followed by column 443 same here, copy this And again, if you have your FQDN added here, this is all, all you have to do for that bit. Once this is ready, you can see you have all this done here. You can go and add the user. So this way, you are going to choose which users to be part of that group, that application, uh, where they can authenticate to. So I have a test user, which I'm going to add. For my test, you can go back here and uh, download the Federation Metadata to XML. This is all you need for Azure. Are we all, all done here? Once you're ready with the Azure, you're coming to the Palo Alto and click on device. SAMO Identity Provider, Import, choose a name for your profile, GP SAMO Profile, choose the file XML file you download from Azure, make sure you untick Validate Identity Provider Certificate as uh, Palo Alto doesn't like the SAML coming from uh, Azure as it is self signed for them and click OK. So once you do this, you can check even on certificates and you can see certificates being uh, added here. Next bit you need to do is go into authentication profile and create a profile for this.
choose SAML and uh, RDP server, you can choose GP SAML pro pro profile, the one we created earlier. Advanced, you can choose all as you are going to decide who to authenticate from uh, Azure site anyway. So it doesn't matter if you have, so always fine. Once we're done with this, the next bit you need to do is going to network gateway. As you can see, guys, I already have global protect configured, uh, working with uh, local authentication. If you want to watch how to configure global protect, please, please watch my previous video, which I'm going to put the description in the comments below. So here you need to add the SAML application, choosing the profile, click OK, make sure this is on top because the way Palo Alto reading is going to start from top to bottom. So make sure this is on top if you need to keep, of course, the local one. And we need to do same thing for the portal. And we can commit. Okay, let's go to the Windows machine and test if Global Protect works. Um, connect this is my test user that I've created Okay, we've been able to connect. You can see my test user, the IP that is taken from the pool. We can verify as well in our firewall. You can see our test user is being connected and the IP that is received. So thank you very much, guys. As I say, if you want to watch uh, how to configure Global Protect step by step, please just watch my previous video where I'm showing how to do it. Thank you very much.